The universe has chosen our earth to be beautiful and the most beautiful on earth is the trees without which our lives are impossible. This is a story of a village from Rajasthan, India where a historical moment was happened in 18th century save those trees to give trees the freedom of life. Raja Abhay Singh enters the court wearing a lavish dress. He is going to announce something in front of his courtiers. <laughs> I have an important announcement for my courtiers regarding the palace. You all know about that. We have to repair our palace and for that we need lots of food. Can you suggest me from where can I get it? Yes, Maharaja. We can get plenty of notes from his army village. So get some of soldiers, cut down the trees and bring here. Yes, Your Majesty. I am sending you. Two soldiers, as per your order. Soldiers came in Khajuraho village, situated in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. They were roaming around the village and beholding the beauty of nature of this village. <laughs> Please don't cut the tree. 
before killing this tree, you will have to kill me. Are you going to give your life for these trees? Yes, I will. Because I love these trees. I love my family. Why don't you understand? Cutting off your trees does not harm anyone. We don't want to harm anyone. But, but it's king order. order. Look lady, I have one solution. If you can give us some money, we will spare your trees. Now, it's up to you. No, never. Trees are God for us. I can't cry for it. It will be an insult for us. She embraced the trees while crying and said, Soldier 2 furiously moved his axe and cut her into pieces. large figure, one after the other, 363 Vishnoi from Mathir. The king also heard the news. Your Majesty, you are the King of Kings, the protector and the preserver of all the citizens. Please have mercy on the Vishnuis. We know that we need lots of food, but the Vishnuis are adamant. They will die and we will never allow to cut trees. Already 363 Vishnuis have sacrificed their lives. If this condition will go on, then all the Vishnuis will die. What am I hearing? Why the Vishnuis are not listening to anything? Maharaja, they are very stern. They are ready to sacrifice their life for the trees. It's very sad to hear the news. I have to go there to see the real condition. As you wish, Majesty, prepare us for going to Khajani village. He went there and witnessed the pathetic condition of the Bishnoi. What the bloodshed happened was not expected. So I decided to compensate your loss. He opened his bag full of gold coins. Now take these gold coins. Your Highness, if you want to give us something then please ban cutting of trees and hunting of animals. I haven't seen such honest and kind hearted people like you. I was wrong. I thought I could buy poor villagers by bribing them. I, Raja Abhasim, I am announcing today that Khejadli village is unique from other villages. In this deserted area, they have maintained a really beautiful greenery with perfect ecosystem. I am taking my shoulders back and promising you that I will not cut any trees from here. Hey Maharaja, you are a real king. Long live Maharaja. All hail Maharaja. <laughs> had lost most of their members, they were strict about their opinions and succeeded at last. The movement for trees was successful and popularized worldwide.
The Golden Woman Day is celebrated on 5th June every year by the Vishnois. What we celebrate on 5th June is first celebrated at the Vishnoi Bhavan in Delhi by the Vishnoi community.